Hi there. Uh, I just want to share with you guys how is it like to live in uh, Korea. I want it. To, I want to make it like a series. Um, first, my apartment, and then maybe I can share with you uh, next uh, transportation and then places to go to, and uh, the food and the people. Uh, looking for apartment in South Korea is very easy. Just run your fingers through your cell phone. There you will see a lot of choices by using the app called Zigbang. By downloading the app, you can choose from what kind of apartment you prefer, like two bedrooms, one bedroom, or studio type. Or around the neighborhood you chose, there's a lot of real estate agents' offices that you can go and inquire. They act as the mediator between the renter and the property owner. They call it Budungsan in Korean language. From what I've experienced, they will ask you what kind of apartment you are looking for and what is your budget. Right there and there, they will give you a tour of at least three apartments that you can choose from. They also have high-rise apartments but it's kind of pricey. Also, just a tip, if you're looking for apartment, it should be near subway station and bus station. Because during winter, it's freezing cold outside and you don't want to walk far just to get to the subway and bus stations. In the surrounding area, you can also see a lot of this kind of store like 7-Eleven. Di uso sa kanila yung sari-sari store. And a lot of restaurants and bake shops. This is the typical apartment in Korea. The building is 4 to 5 floors high. In one level, there are 5 rooms. The size of the apartment varies depending how many bedrooms you chose. Like me, I just got a studio type apartment because I live alone. This is the typical entrance door of the building. There's also a basement down there. When you enter your apartment's main door, this is the kind of door lock they usually install in the door. Uh, with a keypad, with a pin code. Because as we all know, Korea is a very high-tech country so everything is like a touch of a button. You just key in your code number and that's it. No need to look for a key every time you get home. But of course, there's a double lock inside for extra security. As you enter, you can see this floor much lower than the actual flooring because as we all know, Asians used to leave their shoes before entering the house. In most apartments, the first thing you will see is the kitchen area. Like in my apartment, it's the fridge and the kitchen sink and the stove that you will see. My studio type apartment size is approximately 20 square meter with one toilet and bath, a laundry area and a small kitchen. I got this apartment semi-furnished but not all apartments provides the basic appliances. My apartment goes with a fridge, washing machine, gas stove, uh, aircon, bed, closet, and TV. But my TV, I have it pulled out because it's so big and it's not flat screen. Living in a very small place, you should utilize every inch of the space. Like above my fridge, I placed there a big Tupperware where I put my chichiria, my snacks, ramen, and biscuits. Put also there my kitchen paper towel and mugs holder. Beside the fridge is my small sink because I place my small dish rack beside the sink so my chopping space becomes so small but I can manage with that. Other kitchen accessories like the kitchen utensils, chopping board, I just hang it to save space. Above the sink is the cupboards where I put my dishes, condiments, and canned food. Underneath the sink is a small cabinet where I put my dishwashing liquid and some plastic wares and rice. Underneath the cabinet, uh, there's a small space where I put my other shoes. Beside the sink is my gas stove. Above it is my exhaust fan so whenever I cook, I just turn it on so it will not smell inside. As you know, in Korea, you don't have to buy a tank of gas. Uh, they have this gas pipeline like electricity and they will just bill you how much you consume in a month. So you don't have to worry that you will be running out of gas. Here you will see a switch for the gas stove. Just turn it off when not in use. 
they have also people doing the maintenance checking the pipeline if there's a leak me i only receive two bills gas and electricity because my water and wi-fi are free uh, gas bill includes the stove and the floor heater that usually used during winter electricity bill includes lighting aircon and kitchen appliances across the door you will see right away this cute wood shelf gave by my friend which is perfectly fits here i put there my juicer my brita water purifier uh, i don't put my brita in the fridge because i avoid drinking cold water also my Hershey's chocolate powder and my chia seeds honey oats and peanuts in this drawer i put my coins so every time i ride a bus i just get a coin there i don't bring it because it's heavy in my bag also in korea they have a policy about trash we segregate the trash like the color pink for food waste and the color white for miscellaneous trash but there's a color coding in the plastic uh, i think different colors in in every area also to save on the plastic especially on the food waste for not to smell i usually put it in the in my freezer if the plastic is full you can buy these plastic bags uh, in the supermarkets um, they have also a small bin for food waste when it's full already you can just put them outside thing and the garbage collector truck will pick it up okay moving on when you turn right from from the entrance door uh, I'm so lucky that I had this uh, hallway uh, but of course even this small space I will find ways to squeeze in some plants also I place a black stool there which has a storage inside beside it I put a silver a silver kitchen caddy caddy rock on the top shelf I put my kitchen appliances like microwave oven rice cooker bread toaster and coffee maker on the second level I put some kitchen stuff like potatoes garlic onions uh, like my chicken cubes uh, for cooking candies and spices in front of this kitchen caddy rock uh, is my bathroom which I find it really quite big the shower and the toilet are combined usually in Korea the toilet and the shower are combined uh, it has a small sink and a mirror and a cabinet where I put my, 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 my toiletries from the mirror you can see the shower head the shower is connected to the sink faucet where you adjust or control the heat I have also a white hanging container uh, where I put my other toiletries and a white pot with fresh plants under the sink was my trash can and my rug for, for the floor on the other corner I put a silver hanging caddy where I put my shampoo, conditioner, body wash uh, soap and hand towel so now let's go inside the main room every now and then I always rearrange the furnitures inside whenever there's a new or hand down furnitures given to me at the back of my door I have this green hanging plastic bag with a lot of packets where I put my anik anik small items for easy access below that I also hang a wooden hook for my bags but beside the door you will see this relic buying box you know uh, we Filipinos love to send food and clothes to our families back home I just put some decor on top of the box so it's uh, good to look at beside the big box is my closet I put my dresses and blouses there also my big towels and blankets beside the closet I managed to install a decorative hook for my scarf and winter jackets from the room's door you will see this dresser where I put my clothes on the first drawer I put my undergarments on the second drawer I put my leggings and stockings on the third drawer I put my denim pants above it I put this blue plastic where I put my medicines also you can see there my lavender oils for my air purifier a small frame uh, my chargers earphones and some gadgets of course it will not be complete without a plan on the wall i hang a picture frame of my dogs in the philippines 
because my clothes are getting crowded in the closet I decided to buy this clothes hanging rack I bought it for 79,000 won or 3,200 pesos I love it because you just uh, stick it on the ceiling and on the floor and it will stand up by itself it's very practical and when you look at it it's really look organized even if it's open okay this violet hanging cloth is where I keep my regular stockings foot socks winter socks winter stockings on the bottom beside it you will see these two decorative boxes I bought in Daiso for more storage what I do is when it's summer I keep all my winter clothes and when it's winter I keep all my summer clothes even under the bed I use it as my storage I just bought a thick plastic with zipper and it's perfectly fits there under the bed okay let's move on to the other side of the room here I have these two seaters of a bed which I converted to bed when my sister and nieces visits me in Korea above it are these two frames photographed by my honey it's a morning mist and two cute mushrooms taken in our garden in the Philippines I find it really pretty on the same wall is the heater control panel beside the sofa bed is a steel shelves where I put my books, my, my journals, plants, frames, candles tissue, uh, heater fan, and some decorative items. Beside it is a small table where I usually do my, my juicing session. I love to juice carrots and apple. Then small trash can on the side. Just a trash for just for, for dry like paper and, and tissue. In this very small space, plants is very important. It purifies the air inside and in Korea every now and then they have a big problem for micro dust so it's just practical to have uh, plants inside besides giving ambience to the place beside the steel shelf is my coffee table which is the focal point of the room this is the frequently used space of the room where I eat journaling and watching YouTube videos. At the back of my coffee table is a small shelf where I put the things I sell the use and above it is a bushy plant and some decorative items. Above the coffee table is my split type aircon because when it's summer in Korea it is also hot and humid like in the Philippines. Beside the coffee table is my dresser. On the left side, I use my lamp there to hang my headbands and hair dryer. On the other side, you will see there my tissue and snake plant. And on the middle part, my skincare products and some other toiletries. When you open this drawer, you will see here my hair ties, hair clamp, and some makeups. On the lower right side, I put there my hand towels and pillowcases. And on the lower left side, my other socks. And lastly, beside my dresser is my very comfy bed. It's my habit to fix my bed every day because it's a nice feeling going home to a nice fixed bed. And on that side of the bed is my big window. It's good that I have a natural light there. This studio type apartment, I rented it for 280,000 won. 280,000 won. It's like, I think, 12,000 pesos. In peso, 12,000 pesos or less. Uh, I deposited like, I deposited I think 800,001 so there you are guys I hope this video will help you find your own apartment and an idea on how to arrange your own apartment if you decide to live in Korea thank you very much for watching